A full decade after retiring from Major League Baseball, Montoursville native Mike Messina is officially a Hall of Famer. He was elected into the Hall on Tuesday along with Mariana Rivera, Edgar Martinez, and the late Roy Halladay. Today, a news conference was held in New York City for the incoming members, and Eyewitness Sports made the trip as well. Here is Robin Dean and her exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with the Moose. We're here in New York City with one of the newest electees to the Baseball Hall of Fame, Montoursville's own Mike Musina. First off, congratulations. After six years on the ballot, you get the Hall call. What does this honor mean to you? Well, obviously, it's, it's a, a, a tremendous honor. It's, it's uh, something that, that you, don't, you don't anticipate, you don't uh, plan for. Um, you know, when I started playing all those years ago, I didn't play baseball to try to someday make it to the Hall of Fame. It's just to play the game because I love doing it, and, and I ended up being decent at it. So... Uh, I just kept playing and playing, and, and, uh, and all these years later, I, I get the opportunity to, to get on a Hall of Fame ballot, and, uh, and the writers um, feel that I'm, I'm, I'm worthy of going to the Hall of Fame, and so that's, that's, you know, that's where it went. From Montoursville to Stanford, Baltimore to New York, how did all of those teams impact you to get you here today? Oh, there's, there, there's, there's small pieces of all those experiences in there. Um, the stuff, the stuff I learned in high school, the stuff I learned in college, and, and, and learning from other, from other professional pitchers, from, from other coaches, uh, it's just, there's a, whole, there's a whole slew of people involved in this, and, and, uh, and, and I'm, I'm thankful for all of them that I had the opportunity to meet them and, and learn from them and, and use uh, even a little bit of what they could teach me uh, to, to pitch with for, for the extent of my career. And being from Montoursville, near the birthplace of the Little League World Series, I mean, how does your hometown, you know, shape you and, and get you to this point as well? well I, I'm just from small town America. I'm just, uh, I was just a kid that loved playing ball and loved going over to see the series. And, and uh, you know, when I was, we spent a lot of time there when I was young. And, and uh, it's a great time. I, people should go see it at least once in their lifetime. But, uh, you know, it's just, it's just, a, it's, it's, it was a great experience to be able to play Little League in, in the birthplace of Little League Baseball. And, and now to, uh, to get a chance to do this is, is just an honor. All right, Mike, thank you so much. Thank Congratulations you. again. You. We'll have much more from the newest electee, Mike Musina, coming up at 11 in New York. Robin Dean, Eyewitness Sports. Great job by Robin to hang in there. It was a madhouse at that news conference. She did. She is a professional. You know, Musina became eligible for the Hall in 2014. He only garnered 20% of the vote from the Baseball Writers Association of America then. But as you can see, up to 43 in 2016, 63 last year, and then he jumped to 13% to get to the 75% threshold, earning him a spot in Cooperstown later this year.